Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Fall is gearing up and I wanted to show you guys some really functional outfits that are riding friendly. Temperature fluctuations, business meetings, date night, I've got you covered. This video should give you some pretty decent ideas of how to dress on the bike even if you're a guy. And everything is linked up below to help you out. Our first outfit starts with a base that is rock solid for summertime. I've got these light riding pants by Pandomoto. They are a single layer so they're not Kevlar lined but they are Cordura Cool Max. So really excellent abrasion resistance and of course we've got pockets. So I size up a little bit in these. I was between sizes so I went up. So they've got a nice relaxed fit and I find myself reaching for these a lot in the hot weather because they're not stifling. They've got that light color. Lucky for you, I'm selling these ladies riding pants on greatlakesupplyco.com. So if you're interested, go ahead and check them out. Feeling a little chilly, so I throw over this quince sweater. For this outfit, I'm doing some slip-on leather boots for those lazy days, but this would also look really great with the Thoroughgood mock toes. Highly recommend that if you want a little bit more coverage because these do have elastic panels that are suspicious on the bike but just being real i do love to wear these boots this sweater is cashmere it's divine and it's a really affordable cashmere so get into it i recommend it i love the softness and i wear it all the time on and off the bike this is such a rock solid way to transition this outfit from summer into autumn rides bacon of jacket this option is the real mvp it's a top tier option for both men and women We've got the Sherpa trim trucker jacket. It's got a quilted lining, which is so cozy and handy for that transitional weather. It's got an inner pocket that will fit your phone, fit sunglasses, any small things you wanna keep on your body. And then of course, side pockets, and then those snap pockets on top that you're probably gonna forget stuff in if you ever use, but I know maybe you got a better memory than I do. You can both zip it up and or snap it. So when it is cold, I do a little bit of both. If it's hot, I'll only do the snaps and let some airflow go through. So this is like a men's cut. So it's definitely gonna be more relaxed unisex on women. And then you can even pull up this collar piece if it's super chilly and you wanna add that extra bit of coziness for your ride. All right, then we got to put on our little helmet and our gloves. These gloves are super duper cool. They're by 91 Moto uh, and they're the checkmate style. I sell them on my site. And if you know Ananda, she is a really amazing person and innovative and cool. And these are her gloves. They are both armored and they have a Kevlar lining in the palm area. If you're like me and you must be cozy at all costs, this outfit is perfect to keep in the arsenal for those cold mornings that transition into warmer afternoons. The goal of this outfit is to transition you from hot to cold and maybe back to hot again. If you've got those cool mornings, start out with your fisherman sweater, you're all cozied up. And then if it gets warm in the afternoon, as it is apt to do on many fall days, the sun comes out, the temperatures rise by, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. You can put that little sweater in your backpack, zip everything all back up, put your jacket back on and let that airflow come through and you're good to go. All right, scenario number two, we're gonna go ride to hang out outside. So this is one of those instances where it's probably relatively warm on your ride there and you don't wanna keep wearing your motorcycle pants while you're at your outing. I don't know, gonna hang out at the beach, going on a boat. This is gonna get you there with all the armor and protection and abrasion resistance that you need but then not overload you once you arrive. So I start off with this cotton button up and over top I have my ventilated reflective riding hoodie by Lazy Rolling. I sell these on my site. We're running low in stock in a lot of different styles and I don't know when we'll be able to restock so I hope I have better news for you next time. But I do still wear this jacket super duper often. So here's our fit. It's similar base as before. And we have our little backpack, we put on our helmet, we ride and we get there. And when I get there, put on a really great pair of easy breezy twill cotton pants. These are a lot more breathable than wearing your long riding pants. They just look pretty sharp. So this is actually a pretty put together outfit and no one would be the wiser that you rode there. These ones are also by Quince. They are awesome because they're cotton and linen, but they don't wrinkle like 100% linen. We can hang out at the park. If it's really hot, we can switch into some linen shorts. I also have these by Quince. I'm a bit of a Quince addict. They're just so good with those natural materials and flexible options that I 
like to actually ride in, even though they're not a riding company. Now we're going to start at the end. I'm going to show you how I ended up in this saucy little ensemble, but I actually rode to this occasion. Now this one might require a bit of a coat check for your leather jacket and your helmet and maybe your gloves, but I do have a sneaky backup plan to carry some stuff if you will need to more than that little purse allows. So check this out. We're fitting a tote bag inside of the tiny purse. So you could put your pants in the tote bag or I have often just put my helmet on a chair next to me at the restaurant and called it a day. You can put the purse inside of there. You can wear it. You got options. Me rode here. You, I didn't do that. That's not safe to ride without. Oh wait, I've got my pants. Let me pop it in the bathroom. Put these guys back on. Uh, tuck the dress into the pants. This is one of those washable silk slip dresses and it's super handy because you can treat it as though it's a top. Just tuck most of it in. Now granted, you might get a few wrinkles in this because silk is apt to wrinkle when you shove it down your pants, but um, it will likely loosen up. Honestly, silk wrinkles are kind of a vibe. Silk and linen wrinkles just like different than other materials, so I think it's allowable. And I put my leather riding jacket over top. I turned that bag into a belt bag. Bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna ride out of here. And you can even leave the jacket on for the night. A little dress and some bulky boots are honestly a vibe. So let me know if you'd rock something like this out for dinner. I've got you covered. Our last ensemble is for business meetings and commuters. If you got some cool pants that you can pass off as slightly professional, you can start with this option. We've got like two, two paths that you can go down. So if you got a cool office, wear your cool pants. What are they going to do? Make fun of you for being so damn cool. And then I got another silk. This is the silk button up by Quince. And I have this in two different iterations. I've got a long slip dress of this and this button up because the color is just so radiant. It's that very luxe, shiny navy, and it has enough room in the shoulders if you get the right size for yourself that you can comfortably ride in this and you're not gonna feel pulling, you're not gonna feel all stuffed in. Check out some silk if you're a lady, if you're a guy. I don't know, do men wear silk? Just throw your jacket over top, you could tuck in your top and you wear it with some boots that are semi-professional. I wear these ones pretty often because they're rideable and they're kind of my you know, it's kind of Texas business casual. It's kind of Arizona business casual. And I know I'm living in Wisconsin, but that's the vibe to me. So let's say that your office is not that cool and you do need to wear business pants. Let's start you off with a base layer. These leggings are by Pandomoto. They can be fully armored up with your knees and hip protection that I sell, SAS tech stuff. It's beautiful, it's flexible, and it's nearly invisible in there. And these are UHM, so they're 15 times stronger than steel. They're a really amazing abrasion resistant material. And these are actually another unisex option from Pando. And don't worry, they've got little lassos and zippers and all sorts of stuff to help you get in there easily. And you saw that elasticated waistband to draw it in. These can go over any pants that you dream of, jeans, slacks, whatever. And because you're covered underneath, this is great to ride in. I'd rather annihilate my pants <laughs> and have my base layer underneath and have nothing at all. So if you want to get super souped up, you can put on your slacks, you can put on your cutie mock toes, and then you can throw on a riding jacket if you're choosing. And look at that. I'll just get to my location and I'll unpack the bonus shoes that I put in my backpack, maybe pop in the bathroom or wherever I need to go to get ready for my meeting. And then I pop out and I'm business appropriate. And class, if you're paying attention, you can wear a dress on top that you tuck into your pants when you ride, take off the whole bottom half when you arrive, put on your sensible shoes for the workplace, and bada bing, bada boom, you have successfully commuted. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I know this was mostly advice for female riders, but I think a lot of these things can apply to men. Just get a little bit imaginative. You can have really great outfits that you can both transition weather, transition occasion, and get the most out of riding your bike because I know we all want to ride more and don't let the work week get you down. Let's get you on your bike and have a good time. <laughs> Thank you so much to Quince for sending me some of these great items that I was able to feature in the video. And thank you to me for starting Great Lake Supply Co. and selling you all this beautiful Pando Moto gear. I feel really strongly about quality of their goods and of course the protection that you're offered. 
uh, when you pair them with your SAS Tech Armor. So if any of these things appeal to you in the video, go ahead and check out the description. They're available either on Quince or my site. Thank you so much for your support and I'll catch you in the next one.